let me ask you a question. Are you wanting to learn a skill that you can carry with you for the rest of your life, that you can do with friends, family? Think about that. Well, you're in luck, because today, we're gonna teach you how to bowl based off the three stages of learning. My name is Trey. My name is Christian. My name is Aaron King, and let's get it rolling. like say a six or an eight pound ball and it doesn't matter like where you, like how you throw it or how you roll it we're just focusing on trying to get the ball to hit as many pins as you can so I'm going to show you an example right now uh, I finished with my opposite foot so I'm right handed so I finished with my left foot I stayed low so I could keep my balance and I finished low with my opposite hand, and so that's what you're gonna try and do. You're just gonna work on that. We're not gonna focus too much on technique, but again, low pound ball, doesn't matter how you throw, we're just trying to hit as many pins as we can. See, when I was bowling, I had to look down, and I had to look at where my hand was. This is the next stage of your learning process. You have to learn with a bigger ball because it's going to go down the lane a different way. And when you're also learning, you have to learn to look at your dots where your placement is and where you're throwing down the lane. I still had to look on where I am going and I'm still learning the basic, but I'm getting better through the process. Having a routine, knowing what you're going to do before you step up to bowl. My routine was that first I wiped my ball off, to, um, wipe off any extra oil on the ball before I bowl. I did not have to look at where my feet placement. I know I'm going to be around the fifth or sixth board, and I know down the lane I'm looking for the bowling ball to travel over the third or fourth board before my ball hits the pin and my routine was muscle memory. I didn't have to think about anything where my hand was placed, how my release was doing. All I was worried about was hitting my target on the lane. Overall, at the cognitive stage, you're basically learning the little skills in bowling. So you're gonna start off with a small pound ball. It doesn't matter how you, you roll it, you're gonna have the bowlers. You just try to hit as many pins as you can. Uh, when you move to the associate level, you're starting to get, uh, gain those little, you know, learn the aspects, you're starting to get more better. And what you're gonna start doing is focusing more on mechanics and form, and you're gonna put more emphasis on the dots and the arrows and where you aim. And then when you get to the autonomous level, it's more automatic. You're like starting to get really good, and then it's like more technical. So you're gonna start aiming at the specific boards here on the lane. You're gonna start working on your hand position, your wrist position, your timing the things, and that's when you're just the little things because you're starting to get really good and you're starting to attain those skills.